10. I might fish to 11 if it's decent. All right, good luck. You too, have fun. Yeah. On the black spinnerbait. We are on Fine Lake this morning. Me and Spencer, one versus one tournament, like usual. We got one nine. If you can see that. Take a picture and send it to Spencer. See if he's got any yet. Nothing yet. Alright, first fish of the morning. We're just fishing oh, this weed line um, just out from the launch. We went to the left going kind of the west uh, to go around this big flat. There's a big point flat out here. So we're gonna work around that. And uh, Spencer went east and he's trying kind of the same thing. This lake is kind of shallow. It looks like overall lots of weeds, kind of a big flat area. There's only a couple couple deep areas. It's about 40 feet at each end of the lake. And uh, so we're gonna try this for a little while with the spinnerbait and then maybe we're gonna try a jig later. No, uh, no lure restrictions today. We're using anything, so uh, I'm gonna have to stay ahead of Spencer with his chatterbaits. Little bass. I didn't make oh no, my spinnerbait broke. What a pain! Little guy. My spinnerbait broke off. Spencer's caught two, a 1.9 and a 111, so we're 111 behind him right now. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think it was a keeper. All right, we're in kind of the deepest spot on this west end of the lake, roughly. We're only 24 feet of water. It says it goes to 35, but according to my map, we're sitting right in the deepest spot. So. We're going to fish the jig and pig kind of back around the tip of this point where it drops off a little quicker, kind of work this little valley between this and the other shoreline. Can't find some bigger fish. We've got two five now, so we're three, four pounds behind. Not catching anything on the jig. Eight or six and a half pounds behind Spencer. He's got four fish. We got one. It'll be time to power fish, I think. All right, try to beat it this for a while.
Alright, it's 7.30. Spencer's still beating us by six and a half pounds. He's got four fish. I've got one that we caught early on the black spinner bait. Uh, I worked around a big uh, flat, basically. And then tried to go to this northwest corner. Flew the drone for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to try, we're going to try skipping docks with Senko. See if we can't catch any uh, keepers under some docks. We're going to fish this west shore line. Looks like there's a kind of a line of houses and boats and pontoons. So we're going to try that for a little bit and uh, see if we can't catch any that way. Still got about two and a half hours to go before our planned stop time. I might fish for an extra hour after that. So we'll see how it goes, but hopefully we can catch some more keepers. Seems like a decent lake, uh, but right now I'm failing. Fourteen and a half, so one four. Thirteen and a half. I'm gonna run out of sinkos before this tournament's over. Thirteen and a half. Out of one seven, so we're still behind by six pounds. Oh. Oh. Maybe it was a keeper, small keeper, that wrapped up in the boat lift. Didn't get him out. Fifteen and a half inches. One thirteen. Let's record another one. See how big it is in a minute.
biggest one so far is just 115, not even two pounds. and we've only got three fish in the boat so far three keepers anyway spencer's got six i think so his best five uh, it's somewhere around 10 pounds i've only got about five pounds so need two good two and a half pounders to try to catch up and we're just going to go back and skip docks for the last hour on this east side back towards the ramp see if we can't find at least a couple more keepers and hopefully one of them will be a kicker so uh that might be the only chance we have i've tried out deep jigs i haven't caught anything on jigs little uh, paddle tail swim bait out there with the spin head out deep I mean 10 to 20 feet of water 25 feet of water and just, it's a big kind of long tapering lake it's not any quick drops uh, it's big open areas of seven eight nine ten feet of water so I don't know I can't find them out deep I don't know what I'm doing wrong I don't know we'll find out what Spencer did catch his early fish that were so good Try to catch a couple keepers. He's gonna limit. Looks like we might be behind somebody else that already fished the docks. Can't tell. All right, let's give it a shot. this jig out, work our way in, maybe try the salmon when we get in shallow. Oh, nice 
nice bass just sitting right on the edge of the pad. Seven, fourteen and a half incher. came Spencer left we lost we had three four fish we ended up with four fish for I don't know, six pounds something like that and Spencer had probably about nine and a half so, and uh, he said he caught most of his on a frog first one was for a whopper flopper and uh, the rest were all on frogs so he caught a few small ones on crankbaits and uh, that was it so he didn't nail them but he picked using the frog which is apparently the right thing to do today to get around some pads right there by the launch uh, right there at the end and we saw a couple big ones swimming right on the edge of the pads and we were able to catch that last keeper underneath the dock there wasn't enough docks in that area uh, so that was it oh well um, man I couldn't catch anything deep I tried fishing the jig I'm gonna stay out here another half an hour or so fish this dig, jig out deep see if I can catch something out here I know there's some, some better fish in here some better quality fish but a lot of it, this lake is fairly shallow, a good portion of it, and then it kind of drops off in a couple areas. But overall, it's just kind of a big flat, with some weeds here and there. So. Did buy a couple new jigs, three uh, the Guggen Squad, a couple Juicy and Thick, I guess, uh, three eighth ounce, and then a couple of Strike King structure jigs. So this is the Guggen Squad one, but maybe that one that. Uh, I had been using maybe it was a quarter ounce because these feel a little bit heavier than that one was can't find of course the exact match i don't know what that was it was probably a 10 or so year old jig but maybe i was using quarter ounce because i'm or this lake is just really thick and weedy all around because i'm really getting stuck down in the weeds and feel like that's why i'm not i don't know just down in the weeds too much no clean area for the fish to really see it Other jig. We tried the Mega Bass Vision 110 earlier and caught a couple fish on it. I'm going to try the Shadow Wrap Deep. In our favorite purpleescence color. I'm going to fish the brake line kind of in 10 to 15 feet of water. See if we can't find some fish willing to come up for this bait.
That's going to be it for Fine Lake on uh, July 11th. Um, started to figure out a couple things here at the end, maybe deep jerk bait, bait bite on the windblown side. Fishing 10 to 15 feet, uh, kind of near the deepest part of the lake. So we're just on the inside, shoreline side of that deep spot. And uh, it's windblown, and there's pockets of, pockets of weeds, and we were catching them on the shadow wrap deep. Um, just caught a couple of pike on the swim bait, so can't get anything to go hit this chatter bait. Just hoping to get something on that now that it's getting a little bit choppy and maybe the fish are getting a little more aggressive. But the biggest fish we caught was 16 inches, it didn't even break two pounds. So we did catch six keepers finally for the day, which matched Spencer, but uh, he left an hour ago. He won. I only had four fish at that time and he had big bass. So Spencer's the tournament winner today on Fine Lake in, I don't know, Hickory Corners. Yes, Michigan. Click subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.